and uh, we end up on only one of those branches. Uh, in string theory, they talk about uh, the fifth dimension being uh, something that uh, is curled up on itself down at the Planck length, and that's uh, that's how I've tied uh, this concept together with what we're talking about here, that there's branching possibilities. String theory says they're at the fifth dimension uh, down at the Planck length. I say that they're also at the, the fifth dimension and that... Uh, the fourth dimensional line that we're constructing is coming from those fifth dimensional pros probabilities uh, uh, but we only end up on one all those other universes become de decoherent to the one that we're in uh, which is the, the phrase that the physicists use to describe this this state uh, and uh, that's why there can be all those other universes that occur from chance choice and circumstances as I like to say uh, th uh, that uh, could be just as real as the one we're on, but uh, end up not being the one that we are on. So uh, getting back to this idea, then uh, uh, the poll that's running currently is asking people to say, is this 2012 going to be a, something uh, that is, is a major shift of some kind, or is it just going to be another fizzle? And uh, as, as uh, I'm posting this uh, blog, the, the video blog today, uh, it's about neck and neck. Uh, but now that I've said that, I'm sure that uh, that's going to cause uh, some people who would like it to be one way or the other to jump there and uh, express their own opinion, and that's uh, that's great, because I'm not trying to encourage the results to be one way or the other, but uh, a couple of days into the poll right now, I'm actually uh, somewhat surprised to see that uh, about half the people who are coming to the blog right now believe that 2012 is something uh, significant is going to be happening then, and, uh, and I think that's really interesting. Uh, so I'd like to talk uh, then just a little bit about what uh, Millsley uh, and uh, some of the other people at the forum have been uh, saying about that. Uh, Millsley's uh, post is pretty long, so um, maybe I'll, I'll just read the first paragraph to give you an idea. Uh, he says, Some might be curious as to what I mean by the shift. Basically, the average human consciousness is bound by its overpowering ego. The self has taken more importance than the whole for a species that has consistently proven it works better in co cooperation. In the current war-torn, lion-fested, earth-unbalancing, corporate-invested world, uh, whose lines of green code money, uh, uh, kind of like in the Matrix, dictate the reality of its inhabitants, Neo, who has become the one or the one, uh, sees the underlying matrix in its actual golden glory. It is impossible for humanity to function at peak efficiency and creativity. We are seeing an, an accelerating revolution in every aspect of our lives that promotes cooperative competition, socialistic capitalism, scientific religion, this and that, as opposed to this or that, which is infinitely more constructive and creative. The shift refers to this global realization that recognizes individuality in the whole, a distinct and whole-supporting hue as opposed to an ego. Boundaries disappear, and oppor opportunity abounds. And uh, this is actually a, a beautifully written post, and uh, definitely reflects a lot of the things that I've been talking about here uh, as well. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, if you do get a chance to go to the forum, just to tenthdimension.com slash forum, there's uh, uh, a lot of great discussions that are happening, but this is one that uh, if uh, you're interested in these ideas, a lot of people have been now uh, writing in. This is in the uh, philosophical slash spiritual implications uh, area of the forum. And uh, some people have been writing in now and, and talking about uh, some of the other uh, clips that, that are out there that talk about uh, about these ideas. Um, the uh, uh, video that has been posted uh, here in this chat room before the Mayan calendar comes north gets into some of those uh, ideas. If uh, if you uh, really have some time, uh, look that one up. Uh, it's a fairly long video, but uh, but uh, definitely gets into some some uh, interesting ideas. Uh, somebody else has posted a link to uh, the Mayan calendar, as explained by. Random Internet Person Me is the name of the, the link, and uh, that one uh, is kind of interesting too. Uh, if there's, uh, um, there's also, uh, so I'm just scrolling down here, there's some people that have been talking about some of the other ways. Uh, of course, 2012, uh, most people know this from, from the idea that the Mayan calendar says that's when it's, uh, uh, when the end of the current cycle uh, happens. Um, but uh, there were some other videos down here that uh, that also talked about some of the other uh, ramifications of this. Uh, 
Sorry, I guess I'm just not able to talk and read well enough to be able to find those at the moment. But do go there, uh, because it's much more than just the Mayan calendar that uh, that people are talking about here. And uh, it's one of the, the examples of new ways of thinking that, uh, that it seems like uh, this project has really allowed people to express some of those ideas that uh, they used to. Uh, express only uh, late at night to their close friends and now they they're finding other people who think alike and they're able to uh, to now talk to uh, each other about some of those ideas uh, all right here we here we are uh, Taoists believe 2012 is the start of the golden era uh, the uh, what is it Hopi Hopi Indians have predicted 2012 uh, so does the Hindu calendar Egyptian, uh, uh, some Egyptian beliefs point to that, uh, and again, uh, I can't, I can't uh, really speak to the veracity of all those claims, but uh, it certainly looks like there is much more than just the the Mayan calendar out there as being uh, uh, some of the indications that there could be something about that. And uh, one of the discussions that people also get into is uh, the idea that there could have been over the last. Uh, uh, decade or or so uh, attempts by uh, authors, uh, fiction authors, and 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 people writing screenplays to try and encode some of this information in in ways that manages to get past past the uh, the uh, controlling structures that want to suppress this information. And uh, it's it's been fun talking about some of those ideas as well. Now um, there's also still. The chat logs that are being kept here for people who uh, are watching this right now at tenthdimension.com slash chat. Uh, there's this Mebo room uh, where people, as they are posting things, you'll see that uh, the text is being uh, added to the video stream. Uh, most of the time right now, uh, this is just a recording that you're watching of me, but the text that is being incorporated uh, into the video is happening live, uh, which means that uh, no matter where you're watching the video stream from, uh, your comments are being seen by other people, and uh, and also any comments that people make here end up in a chat log that uh, then uh, we do look at from time to time and uh, try to identify any of the, the conversations that have been happening here. Uh, so I'm just going back a few days. It looks like uh, John and Guidewire have uh, gotten into some uh, fairly out there discussions here, which uh, which have been kind of fun. Uh, somebody named DML also uh, had quite a lot to say there back a couple days ago. Uh, Amanda and uh, and Linker had a good conversation. Uh, Somebody named Sir Isaac Newton had some fairly lewd things to say about how how exciting he finds all these ideas to be. Uh, John, um, I'm just going to get into one of the conversations that happened here. Uh, uh, John says, I heard that Buddhists believe that after a person dies, their soul is still a part of our reality. If this is so and a good person dies, then there is a subjectively good soul floating around trying to attach itself to a body. If a bad person dies, then there's a bad soul or spirit floating around. So by opening ourselves up to these spirits, our souls become bigger. So by keeping a balance between good and bad spirits. Uh, and then Guidewire writes in and says, in theory, uh, and John says, this is very spiritual. So it's basically 100% theory. Uh, and Guidewire says, I'm more to believe in good ideas rather than spirits. And uh, John writes back, well, one of my theories was that spirits, angels, demons are thoughts. And by considering a thought, you're considering a spirit. And the Guidewire says, not really. Uh, but uh, that certainly relates to some of the conversations we've having, been having here. Whereas by the time you start to look at the really big picture of, of information that becomes reality, then there are various ways of organizing that reality. 